Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA 5 video, we're going to be talking about how Rockstar is continuing to ramp up for Halloween here in Grand Theft Auto Online and how it looks like there might be a ton more plan as far as what's going on with the UFOs that were added into the game and a whole lot more. So in case you guys missed it, a quick reminder on Friday, Rockstar added this interesting UFO event into the game where uh, over the next couple of days and what's been happening since Friday, there have been UFOs appearing in various spots from 10 p.m. to 3 a.m. And essentially what happens if you missed that entirely is if you go to these locations at this time, you'll not only get to see like the alien ship, you'll see like a beam down onto the ground. And if you get close enough, you'll end up getting uh, not EMP'd, but like a lightning strike will come down, the ship will disappear, and if you're in a vehicle, it will no longer work. So I guess technically it is kind of like an EMP. I'm not really too sure. And we did a handful of experiments with the alien ship. You can't really get close to it, interact with it, do anything to it. It doesn't do anything to you. And as we found out over the last couple of days, it doesn't look like there's anything that happens other than that. So if you decide to end up visiting multiple of these UFO sites, it's not like anything occurs there either. And I don't imagine there's something for visiting all seven of them that were supposed to be happening throughout the week. So that's pretty much everything right there. Now, the only other thing that happened with this is Rockstar did put out a tweet regarding this, or I should say a post on social media. And they've also been promoting posts on social media that have found the UFOs. But they officially put out this poster right here. It's from the Los Santos Meteor, 75 cents daily, Los Santos' most widely read newspaper. Strange lights spotted over Polito Bay. Locals open fire at sky, <laughs> limited casualties. So I think they're basically just getting you to like be alert. There's some stuff going on in Grand Theft Auto Online, be on the lookout for it. It's really fun how Rockstar is just celebrating Halloween here in Grand Theft Auto Online. And also, not sure if this was important or not, but on that same post, they also said strange sightings in GTA Online as Halloween approaches. So make of that what you want, and I don't know what the timeline for that sets up, but they did specifically say as Halloween approaches. Now, since then, Rockstar have put these UFOs at various locations, like on top of Mount Chiliad. They're also going to be on the lighthouse and the alien little architecture spot. Rockstar are doing them on specific spots for specific reasons due to lore or just the fact that it makes sense for an alien UFO to be there. So this is really fun. Well, it looks like there's actually a, a bit of an update to this. We heard from Rockstar Games insider Tez Funds 2 who ended up saying this the other day. The code name of the background update that added the daily UFO event is update number underscore stage one. I'm not sure if that's because they had to quickly solve the bug that caused people to teleport to apartments, but the code name does imply the possibility of more rounds of this event. It could either be that or it was simply part of the stage server, aka pre-production server, that Rockstar quickly pushed live. All right, so that would be interesting because as it currently stands, the UFOs really don't do anything. You see them, they EMP you, they fly away, that's it. It would be fun if like you saw all of them for a week and something interesting would happen. Or if there is going to be multiple rounds of this and maybe the next wave of UFOs that come are more dangerous or more deadly or come with a various Easter egg. Remember, we are still about 11 days away from Halloween, so Rockstar still has plenty of time to celebrate this event. And they also have two event weeks if they want to celebrate that as well. We know that Grand Theft Auto Online usually gets its update on a Thursday. Well, we still have Thursday the 21st, and we have Thursday the 28th before Halloween. So I think that would be prime time in order for them to do something. And remember that this update just randomly happened on a Friday. So I guess they can technically do it whenever they want. Now regarding that second part, that it might have been something regarding the update that Rockstar did, uh, he ended up saying this on Friday later in the day. Rockstar has reverted the Wednesday update, completely removing the function that caused this issue to begin with. However, it's possible some players are keeping their game running to retain the old update, which still causes the issue to happen. 
He's talking about players being like spawned randomly out in front of an apartment or a business where then all chaos breaks loose. And this is happening to random people in public lobbies, which is kind of why I made that PSA to avoid public lobbies for the time being, because you could have been minding your own business and you could have been not doing anything wrong at all. Then all of a sudden you're teleported in front of someone's apartment. You end up dying. It takes you away from your business or your task at hand. Obviously, that's not great and not what you want. So yeah, long story short, not good. Players were getting like weirdly teleported away. It was just causing all sorts of problems. Now, our final update to the story also comes from Insider Tez Funds 2. He was responding to someone that said, maybe the Phantom Car and the Slasher are separate stages. Like the UFOs in the sky are stage one, Phantom Car are stage two, Slashers are stage three. And he said, the thing is, the sight scene is the only event that requires background code to function properly. Whereas the other two events can be toggled on and would work fine. So no need for stage two or three for Phantom Car and Slashers. So this is interesting and it kind of makes you wonder if Rockstar is going to keep this thing going for the entirety of Halloween. So maybe for the next two weeks, since we basically have two more event weeks left, Rockstar will continue to do more UFOs at different locations. Hopefully this means they change them up a little bit in some way, shape, or form. Like I mentioned earlier, just making them more dangerous or interesting, something along those lines. But remember, we also have a ton of other Halloween content scheduled to come as well. The Phantom Car, which we know is going to be the Christine Car. You guys know that pop culture reference. And the Slashers that are going to appear around the map as well and come after you. Uh, that's going to be sort of like a serial killer that's going to be heading our way. So needless to say, there's a lot of fun Halloween stuff. And it looks like Rockstar might even have more things up their sleeve here. Which is nice, considering we aren't getting like official Halloween content this year. Like there's not going to be a brand new car or anything like that. So Rockstar is kind of having to like make do with already the stuff they have in the game. So they're having fun with it, which I, I do really appreciate. It's going to be nice to sort of tide our way over until the, the next DLC, which we know is going to be coming out in December. And remember that Rockstar has already teased that. So we do know there's going to be an update coming in the month of December. But yeah, it's spooky season here in GTA Online, and Rockstar is actually doing some pretty fun stuff, and there might be some more stuff on the way as well. So I would, of course, love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. Uh, let me know what you think about this, and do you think Rockstar have got some more fun stuff planned up their sleeve? Let me know what you're thinking in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.